so we're having an issue on this BBSO2 where it doesn't have pedal assist. So we've already tried checking the program, and the programming is fine. So now we're going to try swapping the controller. So we've removed the crank arm. Now we're going to take the chain wheel off, and then we will get to the three bolts that hold the controller on. And this is the newer version of the BBS-02, so we can probably get the controller off without removing the dust cover. We're going to try. Normally you would have to take that off. So here's the three bolts. There's one here, one here, and one here. I'm just going to loosen them all and then I'll pull them all out at the same time. Now, hopefully we can slide it past the dust cover. Nope, we're gonna have to take the dust cover off. Okay, let me get a screwdriver. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna remove the dust cover. So we take out all these Phillips head screws. So now, we should be able to just slide this past. And then there's connectors. If you look around this side. Okay, if you're checking the controller, the first thing you want to do is just make sure that everything's plugged in before you start swapping. There's three of these large gauge wires in here. They're all color coded. And on the BBS-02, they use bullet connectors. And then you have this connector, which should have a clip to hold it in place. and a fifth connector in here, if you look down in there, maybe you can see it, is a, what, how many wires do we have? Five wire connector, and it's siliconed as well as having a little clip like this to keep it in. So you gotta break all the silicone loose and then use a screwdriver or something to bend the clip up to release it. So it looks like everything's plugged in okay, and we've already tested this bike and know that it works, it's just the pass doesn't work. So we're gonna go ahead and swap. So you're gonna disconnect these guys. And okay, stop. So the last connector is siliconed in. We're gonna use the flat blade to try and break free the silicone. Just sort of pry around the edges. Just gonna make sure it's all loose. And then the clip is gonna be on this sort of the bottom side. So you're gonna depress the clip with the screwdriver and apply a little pressure, the wires, and just yeah. gently wiggle it out of there. And that should just come right out. And once you have all of that free, you can plug in your new controller. Okay, so here we are. We have the new controller plugged in, but before we cut everything loose from the bike, we just wanted to test it. So we turned it on, and as you can see, when he rotates, you can hear it, it starts to power the motor. So we know the pedal assist is working. And you might as well give the throttle a twist and see if that's working too. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay, so. okay, so we're ready to install the new controller. We're going to plug in all the connectors. When you're doing that, you want to make sure that your gasket doesn't do anything like, like this, how it was a second ago. You want to make sure everything's laying flat so that you get a nice seal when it goes back together. And you want to pay attention to how you're putting these connectors because if they get bunched up in there, it can make the controller hard to put back into place. 
So we're going to go ahead and make sure that we get them connected. Color code correct, blue to blue. Yellow to yellow. And then we're going to make green be the inside. It's in the phase wires. And that's all your phase wires connected right there. And then you're going to connect up this guy. And he's got a little catch on him. All wires. You all hear a hall sensor right here. And then the last one we're going to do is the white one, which is the hardest to get out, but not too bad to get back in. I'm just going to make sure he's lined up in there and press him down in there. And if you have it, you can put silicone in, but you also have this gasket, so you don't necessarily need it, but it's not a bad idea. So we're going to go ahead and get it started, and then we're going to make sure that all of these wires are tucked in. And you want to make sure that it's not hard to slide everything down into place. So if it feels like there's resistance, make sure that none of your wires are caught. And something is catching right now. Just gonna rearrange it a little bit. Still something catching. Don't force it because you might cut a wire or other bad things could happen. Okay, we're still hanging up on something. Hold on, just cut for a second here. Let me figure out what's going on. Okay, first time we tried to install this, we couldn't get it to seat all the way. What we ended up having to do was disconnect one of the phase wires and reroute it across the other phase wires and then plug it back in. And now, as you can see, it'll slide back in there nicely and set up against the seal. So the next step is to go ahead and bolt it down. And you can just take a quick, right? Yeah. All right. So once you snug these bolts down, go ahead and take a look around, make sure your seal is sitting in there properly so you're not gonna get water or anything inside. And then go ahead and torque them down. You don't need to go too crazy with this because it's just the controller mount. dust shield back on. And again, don't go too crazy with these because you're tightening into a plastic cover. You don't want to crack the cover. I'm just going to go around, make sure they're all snugged. connector to attach to whatever existing battery you're using and that's all you got to do to swap out the controller on a BBSO2.